Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about some of the troubleshooting steps you can go through when you're trying to use a NVMe SSD, specifically the Samsung 960 Pro M.2 drive, on a older platform that might not necessarily um, have the built-in drivers to do what you need it to. So when I initially put this in my system, I put it in my X99-A 3.1 USB Asus motherboard, and I couldn't see the drive. So if you're doing this for just fast storage and you're not installing Windows on it, all you have to do is go to the Samsung website, get support, download the driver from here. That's easy enough. No. Um, but the thing is, if you are trying to do this on a fresh Windows 7 install, because Windows 7 doesn't have NVMe drive drivers built into it like Windows 10 does, it can be a little difficult to actually get it done. So. I went through a lot of troubleshooting steps. I looked a lot of stuff up online. I couldn't find a good solution. So this is the good solution. Um, you can do this with either a disk install of Windows 7. I have a Windows 7 Ultimate disk. Or you can do a um, bootable USB install. It, either way, it does the same thing. So the problem is there's no drivers, so you can't see the NVMe drive when you go to install Windows. Now. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to go in and I'm gonna provide a link because it's very um, important that you have the right files. These are the files that I use. They did work for my 960 Pro. If you have a different NVMe drive, you might have to download different ones from this page. But if you go to the page, and I'll put the link down below, it actually has the raw files for um, NVMe drives. So you can just find yours so then download, you want the pure ones, not the NVMe driver install because that's an EXE. You're going to want the pure driver, which is going to look like this. It's going to come up with like these four files um, inside of the uh, RAR file. And you want to extract those to a, a USB drive. You want this USB drive to be plugged into a USB 2.0 port if you can. That way you avoid any other issues with drivers like USB 3.0 drivers not being there. After you put it onto the drive and you're ready to install Windows, you've got everything backed up, make sure that your M.2 is slotted correctly, your drive, your NVMe drive, and then you're going to want to, you know, shut down, boot from the disk, and you're going to find a picture like this. And it might not appear, so you'll see the red box, you'll press load driver, and when you do that, it should bring up as long as you have the right drivers and it's in, on a USB, make sure you format the USB drive if it's got anything on it or you'd previously used it for any other purposes but raw storage because I ran into that issue where it was in the wrong format. But once you load up those drivers, once you click that button, it'll say Samsung NVMe driver and after you install it, you'll go back and you'll be able to see your NVMe drive under the partition list. From there, you just go through the install like normal and it works. After actually getting into Windows and installing the Samsung Magician software, I did the performance benchmark and you can see that I have reads and write speeds well above what a standard hard drive would be. You can tell that the drivers did install correctly. The drive is working with Windows correctly because the read and write speeds are much, much quicker than if, say, you had a faulty driver or your motherboard didn't support the M.2 or NVMe, it'd be much, much slower because you'd be kind of forcing it into the motherboard's like operations, which would definitely not give you this kind of performance. Just wanted to share my experience with this. Thank you all for watching.